Stop, stop, stop communicating in a vernacular. I've said it is only the coordinators, but now we have created another group. So that is the project cost. Now on this worksheet, show that I'm uncovered by Exim Bank and I'm uncovered by Exim, uh, government of Uganda. So come go to cell B3 and type Exim Bank amount. Exim Bank. Exim Bank amount. Now, uh, Exim Bank amount, then in the cell of C3 type, what is the percentage of Exim Bank? Exim Bank provided 80%. the 80%. So type 80% here. In cell of C3, and then click on cell of D what? Click on cell of D3. That's where we are supposed to calculate the amount. Then the word Exim Bank is in cell of B3. 80% is in cell of C3. And then pr press the cursor in cell of D3 and we calculate 80%. So press equals in cell D, press the cursor in cell D3. Press equals, equals is on the keyboard. Click on the project cost, 123 million. Press equals, click on 123 million. Timers. Some of you, you don't know how to get timers. If you want to get times, you can press shift and eight at the same time. Or on the numeric keypad on your right hand side, you have the, the multiplication icon, timers, and then you click on 80 per watt. You click on 80%. And then you press enter. Enter is on your keyboard. So you'll be able to see the Exim Bank amount. And then and then we government of Uganda amount. Government. Government of Uganda amount. And then you click in the in cell or now type government of Uganda amount in cell of B4. Government of Uganda amount in cell of B what? In cell of B4. And then type 20% in cell of C4. And then you press the cursor in cell D, in cell D4. Press the cursor in cell D what? Cell D4, D4. I've typed government of Uganda amount in cell B4. I've typed 20% in cell or C4. Now I want to get the amount in cell or D, in cell or D4.
Chichiria, project cost. How are you? You have started the Pechuria. What, what, what? This is a class. Wait for her after class. So, solo D, press the cursor and solo D for press equals. Click on the project cost, which is 123 million. Timus, you click on 20%. and then you press enter. So, now, the Exim, the, this is the amount. Uh, the Exim bank amount is the same as the loan amount. The Exim bank amount is the same as the loan what? Now, this is the amount that will be covered by uh, government of what? Government of Uganda. So this, uh, this amount here, the Exim bank amount is the same as the loan what? They don't have amount. So this is a worksheet called what? Update. Coordinate all together. Yes, we are. Coordinate all together. Yes, we are. Hey, hey, remember you are the you are representing the class. I don't want to just talk, talk, talk when I'm actually teaching myself. So can we proceed now? The white person, right? Come yes. again? Yes, sir. Okay, now we have to insert another worksheet on another worksheet named the interview. So go to the bottom of your Excel screen. This where there is update. Yes, eh? This where there is update coordinator. Yes. Now there is an icon that looks like a plus. When you point to that icon, what do you see? New sheet. Click on that icon. A new sheet. Yes, new sheet. Now you have sheet to not so. Yes. You have sheet what? So sheet, sheet to we rename this sheet to entebe. So right click on sheet to going to shift to right click and then you click on what rename then use the keyboard and type in table and then press enter Coordinator, are you there? I'm there. You remember? There actually. Yes, yeah. we are. Yeah, but don't have everyone who can reply. But you represent the class. When you are there, you can hear me. Then it means everyone is okay. Now, we are on the interview worksheet. Do you see that we are on the interview worksheet? So, uh, go to cell D2 and the type uh, type uh, amortization schedule or you can type uh, express express amortization schedule express amortization schedule don't resize leave it the way it is Express amortization what? <coughs> Schedule, that is our heading. <coughs> express amortization what? Have you mind to type express amortization schedule? Yes. Now, when you're coming up with an amortization schedule, the schedule is supposed to, divide it, to be divided into three parts. The input area, the input area will help you 
to capture or to summarize the information given to you from the document or from the question. Then we have the computation schedule. This is where the actual computations will take place. And then we have the output schedule for reporting purposes. Output schedule is for reporting what? It's for reporting purposes. Now, uh, I don't know whether I will be able to show you how to merge and send. Okay. To go to cell A3. Do you see where there is cell A3? Yes, sir. Type input area. Type input what? Input area. Input area. Mm. Don't, re don't resize. Leave it the way it is. Input what? In cell A3. Type input area. Have you made to type in the put area? Yes, we have. So, uh, members represented by the coordinators, in the put area is supposed to help you summarize the information given to you from the document. This time, today is a question. You have a question. But tomorrow, it will be the finance manager and they will give you a project document. So, you're supposed to summarize that information from the project document. So, coordinators, when you look at the, the question, what information do we have? We have the period. We have the period, uh-huh. What else? We have the payment date. We have the payment date, uh-huh. We have the beginning amount. Beginning amount. Now, those are the fields. The those are the fields that will appear in the, in, the, in the computation area. But in the input area, what information do you have that you are going to summarize? We have the loan amount. We have the loan what? Loan amount. amount. Do you have the loan amount? Now, yes. in cell A4, you know, in the put area, type loan amount. In cell A4, you know, the word in the put area, type the loan amount. Type the loan what? Type the loan amount. Now, how much is my loan amount? Lady coordinator. How much is my input amount? 184 million. 184? Nine. That was the loan amount. That was the project cost, not so? Nine, 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 nine. Yes, that was the project cost. But remember, we are borrowing yes. some money and the government is providing some money, not so? Yes. So your loan amount is the amount covered by the Exim Bank. We calculated that on the update worksheet, not so? Yes. So that's how much? That's how much? Ninety-eight hundred thousand. So how do we how do we pick it from the update worksheet and we bring it here? Okay, let me simplify things. Uh, press the cursor on we are on entebbe on entebbe worksheet, not so. You have yes. typed the word loan amount under cell F4, not so. Yes. Then click on cell B4. Click on cell B what? Before. before that's where we need the the loan amount okay yes press equals have you managed to press equals yes now click on the go at the bottom and click on the update worksheet you see the word update eh? at I the do. bottom of your excel worksheet do you see the word update Yes. Click on update. Now, when you click on update, do you see the 98,400? Yes. Click on it and press enter. 
Click on it and press what? Now, okay. when you go back to Entebbe worksheet, 9,800 9, has appeared. However, in the event that you cannot pick it from the other worksheet, just type it manually. Type 9,800,000. Manually. Hey, manually. No one will penalize you. They will know that you studied on Zoom. Good, so that is the loan amount. What other information do we need in the input area? The amount paid by the bank. Mm -mm, that is the loan amount. But now we want to construct the, the amortization the, shape. The amount. So loan amount is 98,400. This is the amount that will be borrowed. We are not concerned about the amount that will be provided by the government, okay? Then another, another item you need here is period in years. Period in what? In years? Period in years. Period in years. Or the loan amount in what? In years. Uh-huh, the loan, the loan will cover how many years? Coordinator, is there? Ten years. The loan will be covered in what? In ten years. You got ten the loan masses need to say, to be sensitized on the implication of the project on the national, but assuming that the loan will be paid in ten years, okay? Loan period in years, type ten here. The word loan period in years will be typed in cell A five. Ten will be typed in cell B ten. Can you proceed? Coordinator. Yes, please, oh. you can proceed. Hello, Mr. Then, Zainuzi. Yes. Just have a, a, a question. Mm. Just at that point, that what you best want to say that we're picking on this uh, uh, particular no. item to be included in the input area. In the input uh, area, uh, we don't just growing. Now, sorry. When you, okay. When you are coming up with the amortization schedule. Eh? Hello. Yes, I can hear you, sir. In the portfolio means that I need all of the information I will use to compute whatever I'm going to compute all together. So when okay. I look at the, this question, what is the relevant information that I need to come up with on my amortization what? Schedule. Schedule. So one, I need the loan amount. In this case, the loan amount, the amount that will be borrowed, OK? I need the period in years. I need the period in what? In years. Yes. Can I suggest that you wait a little bit to ask that question? It's okay, it's okay. At least now I have some insight about what we are we are including in the input okay. area. You joined the maybe you came in late. But input area simply it's means that okay. from the document, because someone can give you a document of 50 pages altogether. You need that information that will help you to calculate whatever you are, you are going to calculate. So you summarize it. Not every information is relevant in your calculation, okay? Then that period in years is 10. Then we have number of payments per year. Number of payments per what? Per year. Number of payments per year. Number of payments per what? Now, you have to note that loan amortization is one of the easiest questions. But the only challenging part is determining the number of payments per year. And how do I determine it by the number of payments per year? It is a matter of looking at the question, and you go to that part, 
where there is, it is the government's policy or it is the bank policy to compound or to discount quarterly, annually, monthly, etc. Government of Uganda provide the list of Exim Bank and government of Uganda agreed that the loan be repaid discounted at semi-annual basis. At semi-annual what? Basis. Now, if it is semi-annual basis, it means that you are in a year how many payments or what are the number of payments you are making in a year? Coordinator. There are two types. There are two. You pay twice in a year. So if we say that it is the it is the government or company's policy to discount quarterly, gentleman coordinator, what will be the number of payments per year? Are you there? That would be four. That would be four. If it is the company's policy or government is, uh, company bankers policy to discount monthly, those are how many payments per year? Yeah. If it is monthly, those are how many payments per year? Twelve. Those are 12 what? 12 payments per year. So that is the most challenging part about loan amortization, knowing the number of payments per year. If it is quarterly, it means you are paying four times. You are paying every after three months, don't so? Yes. If it is semi-annually, it means you are paying twice. You are paying every after six months. If it is annually, those are how many payments per year? <laughs> huh? That is one. That is one. Okay. Thank you. That is the only challenging part about amortization. Otherwise, it is a very easy number. So number of payments per year, we have said two. And then down type two. Number of payments per year in cell B, B6, type two. <clears throat> and then uh, cell in cell A7, in cell A7, type months. Type months. Type what? Months. So you are paying ever after how many months? You are paying ever after how many months? Six months. You are paying ever after six what? Ever after six months. So you type six here. We are paying every after six months. We are paying every after six what? Every after six months. And then next is annual interest rate. Annual interest what? Rate. Annual interest. Annual interest rate. And what is the annual interest rate? It's five percent. Five percent. And then after that, we have start date. Start what? Start date. <laughs> what is the start date?
first May 2020. Now note that when you type when you are typing dates in Excel to avoid the problem problems, type like first May, okay? Type first one slash May slash twenty twenty. If you don't do that, then it means the date will be returned in a funny way. The date will be returned in a funny what? In a funny way. So when you are typing date in Excel, type one slash, type the word May, then 2020. If you are not given the word May, for you type the May instead of five. Because if you type one slash five 2020, then the computer will interpret that as, the computer will interpret that as first what? As first. Uh, the computer will interpret that as first what? Uh, as first uh, May as uh, May first. Godinette, are you there? Hello? Yes, please. Okay, let us proceed. So now this is our input area. Look through the question. Is there any other information we may need during in our computation area? Gentleman coordinator, do you see any other information we may need? Hello? Lady coordinator. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Do you see any other information we may need in our input area? No. Good. So now leave this place. This is the input area. Now, we are going to come up with the output area, but in the output area, we enter the values later after we have finished the computation. But let us come up with the output area. Do you see where the cell of G? Mm. I'm asking, what is this, this, this extendable to 30 years? Extendable to 30 years. It means that uh, you can renegotiate the loan. Initially, the period given to you is 10 years altogether. OK? But you may fail to pay the money in 10 years. So you can sit down and renegotiate the loan up to 30, up to 30 years. It's like when you borrow money from your friend and you say, I will pay you in two months. But in case I fail to pay you in two months, I will come and you sit down. And then maybe I pay you in five what? In five months. Is that clear? Yes, we have understood that. Okay. So click on cell G4. Cell G what? Yes. G4 and the type uh, actually cell G G3. Click on cell G3 and the type output area. Output area. In the, output, in the output area, we need the PMT. We shall put the value of PMT in cell H, in cell H what? H3. So type PMT, 
in cell G3, G4, and then type N per in cell G5, and then put the cursor in cell H5. Coordinator, can you proceed? Hello? Coordinator, yes, can you proceed? Yes, we can proceed. Now, any part, we have typed the word any part in cell G5, okay? Then click in H5 and we put the value. What is any part? Any part is the total number of payments you are going to make. Any part is the total number of payments you are going to what? To make. So in a year, I have to uh, to to pay the loan uh, the loan in ten years. But each year I'm making two payments all together. So what will be the total number of payments I'm going to make during the entire loan period? Mm -hmm. Yes, coordinator. They are 20. They are 20. So how do you get the 20? Uh, equals. Uh-huh. I'm going to press equals. And then click on the loan period in years. Equals click on loan period in what? In years, time moves. Equals you click on loan period in years, equals click on loan period in years, time moves. You click on the number of payments per what? Per year. So any per mean is the total number of payments. The total number of what? Payments and how do I get the total number of payments? I will get the loan period in years times the number of payments per year, and then press enter. And then below end per type total interest. Total interest, and we shall get the total interest after the computation area. So that's how our input area looks like. That's how our output area looks like. Next is the computation area. I may give I may give you two minutes to catch up because I know some of you. You are seeing the computer for the second time. Can you proceed? Someone the other day was asking me whether he should do computerized accounting or uh, corporate governance. Then I told the person, you can do both. Computerized accounting, look for the knowledge because you'll pay 500 to go and study this course after you program. Thank you. 
Can we proceed, the coordinator? Yes. Good. Now, we go to the computation area. Leave some space, go move downwards, go to cell. You see where they sell a, a 12 mm. uh, type mm. computation area. A 12 we type computation what? Computation area. A 12 we type computation what? Computation area. Can we proceed? Yes. Yes. Yes, please. Now, in the computation area, now this is where, oh, this is when these other items will come in. The period payment date, beginning amount, PMT, extra payment, total payment, VPM, interest amount, and ending balance. So we are going to type these items horizontally. Is that okay? So the first one is what? Period. Is that okay? So you type period in cell. Type period in cell A13. Type period in cell A13. Again. Hello. In cell A13 type period, then in cell B13 type payment date, payment date. Then in cell C13 type beginning amount, beginning amount. Then in cell D13 type PMT, PMT is the periodical payment. When you borrow money, when you borrow what? Money. You pay back the principal and the interest. That periodical payment you are going to make is what we call the PMT. Then we have extra payment. We have extra payment. Extra payment. Then we have total payment. Extra payment, total payment. Then we have PPMT. PPMT is the principal payment. PPMT is the principal what? Payment. PMT is the periodical payment. When you pay back, when you borrow money and pay back, that instrument you are making has two components. It has the interest and the principal. You are paying back at the interest and at the same time you are paying back at the what? The principal. So PPMT is the principal payment. And then we have interest payment or interest amount. Interest amount. And then we have uh, ending balance. We have ending what? Ending balance. So these are the fields we need. These are the fields we need in the computation area.
members out together. Coordinator. Hello. Yes, sir. We, we are together. We are together. So I threw his period payment debt, beginning amount, PMT, extra payment, total payment, PPMT, interest amount, and ending balance. I threw is those fields. Yes. Good. Can we proceed now? Yes, sir. Good. Now, period. This, this, the, these are the number of times you are going to pay or to make a payment. So together, remember we have start, so we have already selected our any par, or we have determined our any par. And we have said our total any par is 20. So that means period here, we must have one up to 20. One up to what? Coordinator, you must have one up to what? One up to 20. Uh, because 20 is our total number of payments, our any par. So your period here is determined by any par. So if the auto, your end pie is 40, then the period will be one up to 40. But since our period here is 20, then we have one up to what? 20. So type one, you type one here, and then type two. We are going to highlight this and then we autofill. But in the event that you cannot autofill, you can type one up to 20 manually. No one will penalize you. Can we proceed? Coordinator. Yes, we can. Okay, now have you made to type one and two? If you have typed money to type one and two, highlight one and two. I have highlighted one and two. I'm going to click on one, press the left hand mouse button and hold, and then move. So I've highlighted one and two. Now, when you look at this highlight, as if there is a border on this work. But there appears to be an icon, or there is an icon that appears to be separate from the entire selection. Below two, I'm going to press the cursor on that icon. And when I press the cursor on that icon, my cursor will change. You see how my cursor has changed? Hmm? You see how my cursor has changed? Yes. Yes, eh? Now press the, when, when you press the cursor on this icon and it changes, press the left hand mouse button and hold, and then you drag. Press the left hand mouse button and hold, and then you drag up to 20. Remember our any pi is what? It's 20. However, if you cannot do that, type one, two, three, up to 20. So that is our period. Our period is from one up to what? is from one up to 20.
Can we proceed? Hello? Yes, we can proceed. Yeah, PMT simply means periodical payment. When you borrow money, when you borrow what? There is an installment you are supposed to make either per month, every two months or every three months. That installment is what we call the PMT. And this money you are paying back has two components. It has the interest and it has the principal. When you borrow money and you pay back, you are paying back the principal, you are paying back the interest. Any pass simply means the total number of payments you are going to mark, uh, the, total number of, uh, uh, the total number of payments or the period, the total number of period you are going to make payments. That is N par. Now payment date here, we are going to write a formula. We are writing a what? A formula. And I hope everyone is steady. If I hope everyone is what? Steady. Because this formula needs, to, uh, uh, it requires you to be sober. Hope you also had lunch. If you are like a jury who rarely takes lunch, you may get a problem. So can we start on the payment date? Coordinator. Hello? Yes, sir, we can. Hey, when, I, when I ask it is the coordinators to, 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 uh, to respond. So now, uh, how do I determine my payment date for period one? My payment date for period one, if I get my start date, if I get my what? <coughs> my start date, all together? Hello? Yes. Yes, sir. If I get my start date and I add on six months, I add on six what? Six months. Man. Then I'll get my payment date for period one. So my payment date for period one equals to payment date for equals to the start date plus six months because I'm paying every after six what? Six months. The jury stop your lines. Is that okay? So can we write a formula now? Yes. Pre press yes, the cash bureau payment date. Press equals. Type the word date. Have you managed to type the word date? Coordinate out together? Yes. Equals type the word date, open brackets. Open what? <coughs> open brackets. Have you managed to open the brackets? Yes. Now, when you open the brackets and look below that date, you see anything like date, year, month, day, etc., etc., or you don't see anything? Okay, we see. Good. So now we are going to type, after opening brackets, type here, yeah, either in smaller letters or in capital what? In capital letters. Yeah. Equals date, equals date, open brackets, type here, yeah, open brackets. Have you managed to type the word here? Yes. And you have opened the brackets, eh? Yes. Remember, I've told you that if you get your start date and you add on six months, you'll get the payment date for period one. So we are going to go and click on our start date because our start date has the year, the month, and the, 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 the day. But we are supposed to add on the months. We are supposed to add on the what? On the months. If you are paying ever after months, if you are paying ever after year, you add on the year. If you are paying after days, you add on the days all together. So open brackets. I have said you press equals type date, open brackets, type here, open brackets, click on the start date, click on the start what? Click on the start date. <coughs> uh, 
Have you managed to click on the start date? Yes? Yes. yes sir. Close the bracket. Close the bracket. Comma. You press comma. Now type math. Type math. Open the bracket. Type math. Open the bracket. Remember our start date. Our start date has the date, the month, and the year. Are we together? Hello. Yes, we are. Our start date has the the month, the day, and the year. And if you get our start date and we add on six months, we get the beginning, the payment date for first period. Why are we adding on six months? Because we are paying ever after six what? Six months. So type month, open the brackets, click on the start date. Click on the start date. Close the bracket. We are paying ever after how many days, months, or years? Six months. After six months. And now we are on months, don't so? Have you closed the bracket for months? Yes. Plus, remember you're paying every after six months. That's why I'm adding on the months. That's why I'm adding on the what? If you were paying every after year, I would have added on the year. So months, month, open the bracket, click on the start date, close the bracket, plus, Plus is on the keyboard. <coughs> plus. Have you managed to press plus? Yes. Huh? Yes, sir. Plus, then go and click on months, which is six. Click on the six for months. Because if I say click on months, someone may end up clicking on the word months. Click on the six. Comma. Then type day. Remember our start date has the day, the month, and so on and so what, and so forth. So type day. Have you managed to type day? Have you managed to type day? Are we together? Yes. Have you managed to type the word day? Yes. yes sir. Then open the bracket. Click on the start date. Type day, open the bracket, click on the start date. Close the bracket. Remember, when you type the word day, you open the bracket, not so? So after clicking on the start date, you close the bracket. Have you managed to close the bracket? Yes. <laughs> Have you managed to close the bracket? Yes, sir. Now, the first, we, are, we need another closing bracket. The reason why we need, a, we have exhausted the, the, the year, the month, the day. The reason why we need another closing bracket is one, because when we typed the word date, when you type the word what? Date, we opened the bracket out together. Hello? Yes. When we typed the word date, we opened the bracket out together. Yes. So after closing the bracket for the day, and we are, since we have exhausted all the items, 
we need now to close the bracket for the date. So after closing the bracket for the day, another closing bracket. Another closing what? Bracket. Closing bracket. And then you press enter. After that, you press what? You press enter. So when you press enter, my date, my payment date for period one is 1st November 2020. I can change it to this format if I want. Do you know how to change it to this format? No. Eh? No. Okay, click on the date you have got, the payment date for period one. Eh? Right click. Click on the date you have you have got for period one. Right click. Click on format sellers. This one there is format sellers. Format sellers. I don't want to go into this. This will confuse you. Now someone will say what what. We leave that or we format the sellers. Yes? So we format. We format, eh? We leave. Format sellers. Format sellers. And then here you have date. Now, format sellers. At the top, you have number, then date. Now, scroll downwards here under type. And then you choose any date format of your what? Of your choice. Maybe I need this one. 14th March 2012. If that is the date format I need, I'll click on it. And then I'll click on OK. Then I'll have 1st November 2020. <laughs> So what is disturbing you? Formatting that, getting the date. Yes? If you have a serious issue, you can unmute and raise it because this is a class. So what is disturbing? Formatting a date or getting the date? Uh, excuse me, sir. You have brought for me an error that you have Come entered again. too many arguments. That we have, I've entered too many arguments for this function. You have entered too many arguments. Yes. For my yes. Yes. Okay, leave, let me handle one by one. Leave formatting a cell as long as you have got you have got the date. Leave that. Is that okay? Now, for you, Madam, has got too many arguments. Press escape, delete everything, and we write the formula again. <clears throat> Leave formatting the date. So I'm going to delete this because someone has, is, is telling me she has failed to get the date. So let me delete this and repeat the formula once. Madam, have you deleted? Yes, sir. Now press equals. Have you managed to press equals? Yes, I can press it. Equals type date. If you if you got the date correct, then relax. Just relax. Now I'm helping those who failed to make it for the first time. Then open the brackets. Type here. But you also have to be very careful with your spellings. Because if you type here wrong or all month wrong, you get a problem. Then open after typing the year, open the bracket. Go and click on the start date. Remember, start date has the date, the month, and the year. 
And when we get the start date and the add on six months, we get the payment date for period one. Close the bracket. Comma. Then type month. 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 Open the bracket. Go back and click on the start date. Shamira, Shamira, what is open? Shamira, run. Open the bracket. Close the bracket. Remember, if you get the start date and you add on six months, we we'll get the payment date for period one because you are paying it after six months. So after closing the bracket for month plus plus, then you click on six because we are paying it after six what? After six months. Comma, then type day. Comma, then type D, open the brackets, click on the start date, close the bracket. Now the first closing bracket you are closing for the day. The first closing bracket you are closing for the what? For the day. Then another closing bracket for the word the date, because when we open, we type the word the date, we opened the bracket. So you need two closing brackets. And then after that, you press enter. Are you okay, madam? Thank you, sir, I've gotten it. You have gotten it, eh? Congratulations. This is who? This is Helen. Helen, who? Ava Hume. Ava Hume. Okay, Ategeka, is your network now okay? Because you have been complaining about the network. Yes, sir. You are fine now. Are you in Bushwaji or you are in Kampala? Kampala. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> so now what is the purpose of Zoom when everyone is in Kampala? <laughs> okay, now we have got the payment date for period one. Is that okay? Our payment date for period two is the when we get the payment date for period one and we add on six months, now we get the payment date for period two. When we get the payment date for period two and we add on six months, we get the payment date for period three and so on and so what and so forth. So that means we are going to write one more formula for the date for period two. But when we are writing the payment date for period two, we are going to use the payment date for period one. We add on the six months and we fix the six months. The reason why we are fixing the six months is one. When I school and go to, back, go to period seven, I'm instructing the computer that get the payment date for period six and add on six what? And add on six months. So let us proceed. Press the cursor. Bureau payment date for period two, press equals, type date. Not really. Yes? This is, this is nice. Can you proceed? Equals that. Can you proceed, members? Are we okay? Yes, sir. Equals that. Press the cursor under period to press equals type date, open the brackets, type here. Yeah. Oh, 
open brackets. Now, this time we are using the payment date for period one altogether. So click on the payment date for period one. Close the bracket, comma, month, comma, type month, open the bracket, click on the payment date for period one. Close the bracket. Remember, you're paying every after six months. So if you get the payment date for period one and you add on six months, then we shall get the payment date for period two. Plus, click on six and first relax. There's something I want to show you. Plus, now when you click on six months, I want, now I'm interested in writing one formula for the date and then I auto fail. So since I have used the payment date in the period one, in the simple terms, I'm instructing the computer that when I go to period five, I should go to period, get the payment date for period four and add on six months. So that means I have to fix the six months. There are two ways we can fix. Uh, by uh, you can fix it manually or after clicking on six, you press F4. On some laptops, on some what? On some laptops, you can press F4 and you fix. On other laptops, for you to be able to fix, you press Fn and F4. Fn and F what? And F4. Because if you don't do that, you may get the you may get the screen share. So after clicking on six, press First press F4. If you press F4 and you don't see anything, or you don't see that you are fixing, it brings PC screen duplicate extend ETC. Then it means for you, you are going to press Fn and F4 to fix, more especially if you are using a laptop. There is a button at the bottom that has Fn, and then you press that button and hold at the same time you press F4 to fix the cell. Or if you are seated on a desktop, you press F4. Come again. Hello. Plus, have you managed to, uh, to, to press plus? Someone is saying pardon. Have you managed to press plus? Yes. Hello? Then after plus, go and click on six. Now, what I'm saying is that we are supposed to fix this six months because I'm, I'm only writing one more formula and I'm going to autofill. And when I autofill and go to period 20, uh, period 15, I want the computer to go and get the, the payment date for period 14 and go at the top and add on six, what? six months. So after clicking on six, you fix this cell. How do I fix the cell? by pressing F4. At the top of your keyboard, you have, you have escape F1, F2, F3, F4. However, on some laptops, on some what? Laptops, when you press F4, you don't fix. It will bring you the screen, the duplicate screen. So if you press F4, for example, on my laptop, when I press F4, after clicking on six, I'll get this. PC screen duplicate extend. So it means for me, I cannot fix by pressing F what? F4. What am I going to do? I'm going to press Fn. On a laptop, there is Fn. So you press Fn and hold the button, and then you press F4, and then you'll be able to fix that cell. Then comma, type day, open the brackets, then click on the start date, 
close the bracket. Click on the start then, and then you close the bracket. And then another closing bracket. And then you press enter, click on the value I've got, and then you autofill. Enter. Now click on the payment date for period two you have got. Press the cursor on the autofill icon. This is what we call the autofill icon. And then you press the custom auto fill, and then you do what? You drag. So the last payment will be made on in first May, twenty thirty. So that's when the last payment will be what? Will be made. Great, so that's how you come up with the payment what? With the payment date. Then the beginning amount and the ending balance are calculated concurrently. <laughs> So beginning amount and the ending balance are calculated concurrently. So these two columns, the beginning amount and the ending column, leave them. They are calculated what? Concurrently. So let us go to PMT. P what is PMT? PMT is the periodic payment. Periodic payment means that when you borrow money, you are supposed to pay back a given installment every day after three months, six months, and so on and so forth. That amount you pay back is what you call the PMT, periodical payment. And the periodical payment has two components. It has the interest amount and the principal amount. When you pay back to the bank, Members, can we proceed? Hello? Yes, sir. So now I've said beginning amount ending and ending balance. These two items are calculated concurrently all together. So if they are calculated concurrently, then first leave the beginning amount, press the cursor below PMT. PMT is the periodical payment, the amount, the installment you pay back when you borrow the money. 
So here we are going to use formula. So click on PMT. At the top here, you have file home insert page layout formulas. You see the tab for formulas. Do you see the tab for formulas? Yes, sir. At the top, eh? Yes, we can see. Click on formulas, and then somewhere here you have financial. Formulas, then you have financial. Click on that drop down of financial, and then look for PMT. Formulas, financial, and then look for PMT. So click on PMT. Rate. Rate is the annual interest rate. Rate is the annual interest what? Rate, are you there? Hello? Are you there? Yes, yes so we are following. Good. Now, uh, all right, the, the rate we are given is for the year, but we are supposed to pay ever after six months. So what is the interest rate for six months? For you to be able to get the interest rate for six months, you get the annual interest rate. So click on rate, then you click on 5%. Divide by slash, divide by. And then you click on the number of payments per year. You click on the number of payments per what? Per year, divide by two. Divide by what? By two. So if I get 5% and I divide by two, I will be able to know the interest rate per period. So for you to, to know the interest rate per period, you get the number, I mean the annual interest rate divided by the number of payments per what? Per year. So now I'm going to fix these cells. I'm supposed to fix the rate because I'm going to calculate the only one value for PMT and then I drag. So how do I fix both cells? I'm going to highlight these two cells like this and then press Fn and F4 or F4 to fix these two cells. I'm supposed to fix these two cells because when I scroll and go to period two, period 15, still the interest rate will be the what? The same. So I've said for you to get the rate, get the annual interest rate, which is 5%, divide by the number of payments per year. That will help you to know the interest rate per period. Then highlight these two cells and then press F4. O F N F N F O to fix the cells, and then you, after that you click on any part. Now, when you click on any part. Go to the output area and click on the our any power, which is 20. So first click on any part here. Then go and click on 20. And then also press FNF4 to fix that cell. Why I'm also fixing that cell? When I go to period eight or period nine, the any power will still be the what? The same. So since I'm graduating one and I'm going to autofill. I have to fix those cells. Now you go to PV. PV is the present value. And your present value, and your present value in this case is the loan amount. Your present value is the loan what? Is the loan amount. So PV 
go and click on the loan amount, which is 98,400,000. Also press F fix it. Then you go to FV future value when all the cash flows are, when all of the periodical payments are made, we need a zero. So if you leave that blank, Excel will know that you, you need a zero. Then type, we have one and two. Uh, so if you are making the payment at the beginning, then you type one. If you are making the payment at the end, you type zero. So if you omit that, it will, Excel will know that you make the payment at the end of the what? The period in simple terms leave the future value and the type blank or if you have a lot of time you can type zero zero and then after that you click on okay you click on what okay after that you click on okay and then you can resize this and when you resize this some of you have in the brackets others but this is a negative this is a what a negative so if i don't want this to be in red i'm going to click on this value click on the home tab and then somewhere here under number you have this comma when you click on it it is comma style when you click on it it is comma what it is comma style. So I've said click outside the cell, go and click on the value I've got, click on the home tab, and a number, click on the comma style. And then it will change, but still it is a negative, either with a minus or in brackets. Click on the value I've got, and then you auto what? You auto fill. If I may ask, why is this a negative? Coordinator, why do you think this PMT is a negative? Because it is a what? Huh? Why is it a negative? Because it is a cash outflow. It is a cash what? Outflow. You are going to make it is a payment all together. Good. Now let us go to extra payment. <laughs> Now, when you go to extra payment, what does it mean? It means that at a given time, you may get a windfall. Your PMT is supposed to pay 6,312,077 every six, six months, but you may get more money and you may decide to deposit this money on your loan account. That is what we call the extra payment. If you're a lady, you may hook up with the Haji who is loaded, and then if the Haji has given you money, then you may decide to use this money to reduce your what in the place. So that is extra payment. But when I look at the question, I don't have an extra payment. So I'm going to type zero, enter, click on this zero, and then auto what, and then auto fill. So in this case, I don't have an extra what, an extra payment. But in case you are given the, the extra payment in the question, then you just type the amount where it belongs. For example, the question may say, even after four months, it was agreed that the, the government of Uganda would make an extra payment of 500,000. So you go call, call, oh, even, after six, uh, even after four years. So after four years, put in that amount. Then how do you get the total payment? Total payment equal to PMT plus extra payment. Total payment equal to PMT. Excuse me, sir. Mm. Can you please help me with PMT? Mine has refused to come out. This is the same lady or this is a different one? Different one, sir. What is the problem? When you look, when you uh, click on it, what does it say? It brings the hash, hash sign. Hey. First look, you can, can you look at my screen? Yes, sir. To bring something like that? Eh? Mm, no. Hey. Yeah, this like that. Bambi. Just resize here, my dear. And see whether you can see values. 
But again, even if I enlarge the space, <laughs> still it brings the hash signs. Like first click, on, okay, do like again. this. Click on the hash sign, okay? Then click on the home tab and then click on the comma here. On the comma But I've already deleted, let me repeat. <laughs> you will find us on the way. First use and do. Show that you recover them. Don't do is here. Put out to you guys IT too. Did you, did you also do I2 to online? It, it was part day. <laughs> Please, Sam, um, start from BMT. Which is okay. So you have failed to get PMT? Yes. So many people have failed. Okay. Let us repeat PMT. Because it seems yeah, that the number is big. Okay. Press the cursor below PMT. Are you there? Yes, sir. Now click on formulas, financial, mm -hmm. and then you look for PMT. Formulas, financial, and then you click on what? On the PMT. Formulas, financial, and then you click on PMT. Now, when you click on PMT, we go to the rate. Rate, click on the annual interest rate, which is 5%. Divide by slash, and then you click on number of payments per year. Then after that, highlight these values in the functional arguments. And then you press F what? Fn, F4, or F4. If you press F4 and your laptop can fix, you press F4. If you press Fn, uh, if it cannot uh, fix, you press Fn and F4 to fix these cells.
Are we together? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. We're together. Mm, at times, when you see me, when you when you don't hear anything from me, at times I, I, I mute so that you can catch up or you help one another, okay? So any part, any part is the total what? Any part is the total period. So click on 20. Click on any part here, then you click on 20, and then press F N F for to fix any part. And then you go to PV. PV is the present value. And our present value is the loan amount. So you click on PV, and then you click on the loan amount. And then you press F, uh, you fix it also, F and F4. Now, future value, we need a zero and the type. So you leave those two cells blank. Leave those two cells blank. And then after that, you click on OK. After that, you click on what? OK. And then you'll get your end part. Now, if you get ashes like this, you can resize this. And then it will be in red, negative, but in red. So if I don't want the dollar symbol, what, 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 I'll click outside on this cell, outside the cell. Then I'll go back and click on the cell, or click on the home tab. And then I'll click on the comma style and a number. I have comma style. So I'm going to click on comma what? Comma style. Press the cursor on the auto fill icon, and then I do what? And then I run. Is it okay now? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir, it's okay. It's okay now, eh? No, it's not okay. Then for you, you need someone. To okay. No, I'm putting the number. Now, what is the problem? Auto filling or changing it to black? Hello? So now, uh, extra payment, we said we don't have an extra payment. So type a zero, press enter. Click on that zero, and then you do what? You auto fill. So how do I get the total payment? Total payment equal to PMT plus extra payment.
Are we together? Hello? Hello? Excuse me, sir. Are we together? Excuse me, sir. Are we together? Yes, sir. <laughs> Press enter. It is. You have said the total payment equal to PMT plus extra payment, and then you press what? Enter. Click on the value I've got, anchor, paste the cash on the autofill icon, and then you do what? You drag. Now we go to PPMT. Remember, we have said that PPMT is the principal payment. PMT, when you pay back the loan or when you make the installment, this installment you are, you are making or the amount you are paying has two components. It has the interest amount and it has the principal amount. So at the end of the day, you must show what is the principal, what is the interest. So press the cursor below PPMT to calculate the principal payment. Press the cursor below PMT, PPMT to calculate the principal payment. Press the cursor below PPMT to calculate the principal what? The principal payment. So click on formulas, financial, and then you select, you look for PPMT. Formulas, financial, and then you look for PPMT. Formulas, financial, and then you look for PPMT. Have you managed to locate PPMT coordinator? Yes. So, okay, click on PPMT. Now rate, our rate is the same. It is five rate. You get the five divided by, you click on the number of payments per what? Per year. Because when you get the annual interest rate divided by the number of payments per year, then you get the rate per period. We are supposed to fix these two sellers. So highlight these two sellers and press F4 or F and F4 to fix the sellers. Then you go to pi, pi in Excel minutes period. Pi in Excel minutes what period? Pi in Excel minutes period. Pi in Excel minutes period. So. You are calculating the principal payment for period what? For period one. So per, you click on period what? One. And in Excel, we rarely fix per. In Excel, we don't fix per. Because if you fix uh, this period one, it means that when you scroll and go to period nine, the computer will still use period one. So click on per, click on period one, and do not fix. Then go to any part, click on any part, click on any part, and our any part is 20. So click on 20, and then fix that one. Press FN, F4, or F4 to fix it. Then you click on PV, and our PV is the present value. And our present value is the loan amount. So click on the loan amount and also fix it. Fn F4.
and then you click on okay you click on what okay so if you get a hash hash resize if i don't want to see the currency symbol it is i'll click on this value click on the home tab and i'll click go to number and click on the comma style and i'll click on this value press the autofill icon and then drag up to your what up to period 20. So you, you will realize that the principal payment is not the same. It keeps on changing. Coordinate out together? Yes. We are yes. together. Mm, that's good. So next is interest amount, but I normally give one minute for members to catch up. Then now, remember we have said that uh, our PMT has two components, the principal payment and the interest amount. So since I know the PMT and I know the PPMT, I don't need to go back to formulas financial to calculate the IPMT. It is a matter of saying we are interest amount equal to PMT minus the principal payment because PMT equals to PPMT plus interest amount. So I know this one and I know this one. So interest amount, press the cursor below interest amount. Press the cursor below interest amount. Press equals PMT. minus PPMT. Interest amount equals to PPMT minus PPMT. And then you press enter. So click on the value I've got and then auto out, auto fail. I've said interest amount equal to PMT minus PPMT. And then you press enter, you click on this value, and then you auto add, you auto fill. So next is the beginning amount and ending balance. Remember, I've told you that beginning amount and ending balance go hand in hand. But how together, coordinator? Coordinator? Yes, sir. We are together, eh? Yes. Good. So ending balance and the beginning, am beginning amount and ending balance are characteristic concurrent. So what is your beginning amount in a period D, in a period D one? Did the, 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 the gentleman coordinator disappear? Hello? Hello? Hello, sir, we can hear you. It's 98,400,000. Yeah, so your beginning amount in a period D one is the loan amount. Your beginning amount in the period one is the loan what? Is the loan amount. So press the cursor below beginning amount. Press equals. Go and click on the loan amount in the period what? In the, uh, from the, 
Beginning amount in the period one equals to loan amount from the input area. And then you press enter. Now, how do we get the ending balance in period one? Let us begin with the coordinator and the two more members. Mebo cover singles, are you on? Hello? Hello? Mebo cover singles, are you on? No. What I'm on. Uh huh. Cover singles. How do you get the ending balance? You can. Who is your boyfriend? You can help me. Do you have a boyfriend? You can I'm here, sir. You are the boyfriend, eh? <laughs> Aspiring or current? <laughs> Aspiring, yes. How do you get the ending balance? <laughs> <laughs> the ending balance, you get the beginning balance. Uh, minus the PPMT. Plus the PPMT. Because one is a positive, another is a negative, eh? Exactly. Okay, I so, didn't consider the signs. Okay, so thank you, the prospective. So ending balance equal to beginning amount plus the PPMT. Beginning amount in the period one plus the PPMT in the period one. And then you press enter, okay? Good. Now, beginning beginning amount. We have said ending balance in the period one equal to beginning amount in the period one plus the PPMT in the period one, and then you press enter. Now, were Julie is were Julie still on? That's one. Were Julie in the period one. When I mention your name, you unmute and they give me the answer. Is Wajuri still on? Yes. Wajuri, what is your, how do you get the beginning amount in the period two? The, the beginning amount in period two, you get the ending amount in, in period one, mm. and then you get the PPM yes. in mm -hmm. two. Your beginning amount in the period the one equals to the ending balance in the period. Your beginning amount in the period the two equal to the beginning amount in the period the one. Not so? Yes. Okay. So press the cursor under beginning under beginning amount for period the two. Yes. Press the cursor under beginning amount for period the two. Yes. Beginning amount in the period the two. Equal to press equals press equals the beginning amount of the sub PP. So beginning amount in the period two. But now here the beginning amount. Unmute, please. Beginning amount in the period two equal to ending balance in the period one. Beginning amount in the period two equal to ending balance in the period what? In the period one, then press enter. So this is what I'm going to do. After that, relax. Let me show you the auto way of getting other values. You don't need to write formula to get ending balance, beginning amount again. So uh, click on the ending balance, click on your ending. Uh, this is what I have. I have the ending balance for period one. I have the beginning amount for period one and the period two. Are we together? 
Now click on the ending, I mean beginning amount in period two. Press the cursor on the auto fill icon. Uh, click on the beginning amount in period two. Now press the cursor on the auto fill icon, auto fill icon and then you drag up to period what? Up to period 20. No problem. Don't worry about the dashes. I've said beginning amount in period two equal to ending balance in period one. Enter. Then you click on the beginning amount in period two. Don't highlight, but just click on the beginning amount in period two. Press the cursor on the auto fill icon and then you do what? You drag. Great. Now go back to the beginning amount, to the ending balance in period one. After that, click on the ending balance in period one. After that, click on the ending balance in period one. Press the cursor on the autofill icon, and then you do what? You autofill. So these values will automatically appear, and then you'll have a zero at the end. When all payments are made, then the ending balance is what? Is a zero. That's how you determine, oh, that's how you'll be able to tell whether whatever I have done is correct or not. So basically that is the amortization schedule. Before we can proceed, I can entertain some two, three questions. Apio Maureen, do you have any question? No. Excuse me, sir. Are you comfortable? Excuse me, sir. Mm. Tell me with a formula of PPMT. PPMT? Oh, interest yeah, amount. No, PPMT, I was left out. And... You were left out Sorry. with PPMT. Yes, I just need the formula, then I'll do it later. I don't know how you get the formulas here. I don't have formulas, but let me just go to PPMT. Let us redo it quickly with you. Thank you. So delete that one value and we do it with you before we can proceed. Bye. So PPMT, I believe now you are you are there. Are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, so go press the cursor below PPMT, click on formulas, financial, and then you click on PPMT. Have you managed to locate PPMT? Yes. Yes? I'm there. Okay. 
PPMT. Now rate, our rate is the annual interest rate, which is 5%. Click on 5%, divide by, you click on the number of payments per year, which is two. So 5% divided by two. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Now highlight these values here in the functional arguments dialog box. Because you are supposed to fix all. If you don't highlight both, it means you'll fix only one. Okay. Yeah. So after highlighting that, you press Fn or Fn F4. F4 or Fn F4 to fix them. Right. Then go to pa. Pa is the period. Pa is the what? And then we are calculating the PMT for period one. Click on one under period, but do not fix. Okay. Yes, sir. Then you go to any pa. Our any pa is 20. So click on 20. First click on any pa here. Then you click on 20. And then you press F4 or FN4. If any effort fix it. Are you there? Huh? Yes, I'm there. And PV present value, you click on the loan amount. And you also fix it. FN F4. In simple terms, when you are calculating the PPMT, you don't fix the period, but you fix all other items, okay? Yes, Future value, you leave that one blank. Leave this cell blank. I believe you can be able to see my screen, eh? Yes. So leave that cell blank. And then after that, you click on OK. So that's how you, we calculate the PPMT. So now I believe you are in a position to write the formula yourself. One more question and we proceed. Thank you. In the box today, thank you, please. Uh -huh. Any other person? One more question? Coordinator, are you there? Excuse me, sir. Mm. Um, so we have another lecture right now, a corporate mm. governor. So we can, uh, we can, but uh, all in all, I have finished. One, let me just, one minute, PMT, let us put the PMT and the total interest and basically that is amortization. But everyone is doing corporate because I would have completed amortization in five minutes and then you do the you do the exercises. So how do I get to go out to the output area and you put in the PMT and the total interest? PMT. Are you there with PMT? Hello? Yes, sir. Okay, PMT, press the cursor on PMT here and then press equals, and then go and click on the first value of PMT, and then you press enter. Then total interest, press the cursor on the total interest here. Then the formulas, auto sum, and then you click on sum. Formulas, auto sum, then you click on sum, and then you go and highlight all of the values of interest amount. Highlight all of the values of interest amount, and then you press enter. So that is your total interest. That is your total what? Can we stop at that? You can handle part D, part C. Hello? 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 So what we can do, members, hello? Hello? Can you hear yes, me? Sir, you can. What we yes, can we do? Can we, hear you. we can. We have finished part A. We have finished part B. Those who are going for corporate, you can go.
those who are not going for cooperate you can mm. finish part c and then you do this uh, you will do the remaining exercises so that next week we start on another topic so those who have cooperate please you are free to go those who don't have cooperate let us finish this in the next five minutes you will teach those who are doing cooperate so part b let us do part c copy the information Please look me with the beginning balance and ending balance. Let us first finish. We shall come to that. So those who are still around, let us complete this. Part C. Copy the information in the above to another worksheet. Rename it as Woya and establish what interest that should be charged if the government desires to pay total interest not exceeding 944003. Members, are you there? Members, can you proceed? Hello, Mola Mita. Hello, Mola Mita. Can you proceed? No, sir. Is the interest? Come again. Let's complete the total interest. Uh, let us total interest. You have failed to get it. Yes. So let us repeat that and then we proceed because it is needed in the next item. Okay, go to where there is total interest. Let me delete this. So delete that, press the cursor here where there is total interest. Then you click on formulas, auto sum, sum. Formulas auto sum sum. Then you click on formulas auto sum, click on sum all together. Now go and highlight the interest amount values, all of the interest amount values. Highlight all of the interest amount values and then press enter so now this is your total interest great are you there hello Hello? Hello? Yes, we are. You are there, okay? Hello? Yes, sir, we are there. Great, now let us proceed. Five minutes and we complete. <laughs> now, part C, put the information in the above to another worksheet, the main meet warrior, and establish what interest rate that should be charged if the government desires to pay total interest not exceeding 94 million. So go to the worksheet and table. Do you see, press the cursor on and table worksheet. Press the cursor on the table worksheet, right click. There are several ways you can copy, but this is the easiest way you can copy. So you press the cursor on the table worksheet, you press the right, you right click, and then you click on move or copy. Move or what? Move or copy. Right click, click on move or copy. And then click on move to end. Move to end and then put a tick on create a copy. Put a tick on create a what? Create a copy. 
and then you click on okay. Create a copy and then you click on what? Okay. Pardon, sir. <laughs> I've said, do you have the entire worksheet or the worksheet that has PMT ETC ETC? Either sheet two or sheet one. Yes? Hello? Okay, this is my worksheet called Entebbe. Yours may be sheet one or sheet two. Point the cursor to that sheet one Entebbe worksheet ETC. Right click, click on move or copy. Then you'll get the move or copy dialog box. Now in this dialog box, click on move to end. Then put a tick on create a copy. Put a tick on create a what? Create a copy. And then you click on okay. Then after that, I have this worksheet in table in brackets too. If I want to rename it, I will right click on it and then say rename. And then I will type warrior. And then I will press enter. Enter, then after that, go and click on your total interest because the question is, assuming the government doesn't pay total interest exceeding 90 what? 94 million four zero three hundred. What interest rate should be charged? So click on this cell. I believe now everyone has money to click on the total interest. So now when you click on the total interest, click on data. You see where there is a data tab at the boat at the top after formulas? Hello? Hello? Members, are you there or you are not there? Are you able to see the data tab after formulas or you are unable to see it? You can see. You can see it. So click, first click on the total interest value, then you click on data. Have you able to click on that, that the data tab? Then go after data, click on what if analysis, click on what if data, what if analysis. Data, what if analysis. Data, what if analysis. Then click on Golo Seek, click on Golo what? Golo Seek. Data what if analysis Golo seek. Set cell, set cell. Now, do you see that your total interest cell is highlighted? Or it is not yet highlighted? Sir, please come again. About now, starting from where? Where do I start from? 
that that interest or that that sheet. sheet click on the total interest do you have the total interest or you don't have it i have it now to click on the total interest means click you take, take, take the cursor that place and then you click have you done that yes hello then you click on data on the, so we beg your pardon on the procedures now which procedures are you asking about yours for party click on the total interest those who can follow please click on the total interest if you have the, the total interest on your screen <laughs> then after that click on data and then when you click on data somewhere here you have what if analysis data tab after formulas at the top we have data so click on the word data then what if analysis will appear click on that drop down of what if analysis and then you click on goal seek you click on goal what goal seek set cell the total interest cell is highlighted go and click where there is total value and type the amount given on the question paper uh and establish what interest rate that should be charged if the government of Uganda desire to pay total interest not exceeding, not exceeding 94403 in the bracket. So set cell, the total interest is related to value, open the brackets, type 94404, 300, and then close the bracket. Then after that, go and click where there is by changing cell. In this case, when you look at the question, the question is uh, copy the information in air above to another worksheet. The name it as lawyer, and establish what the interest that what interest rate that should be. If the government of Uganda desires to pay total interest not exceeding nine four four zero three three hundred. So it means the changing cell is the cell that has the interest what the interest rate. So when you click on by changing cells, then go and go to the input area and click on the annual interest rate, which is five per watt, which is 5%. And then after that, you click on OK. And then you click on another OK. And then the interest rate will change to 15%. And the your PMT will change. And the total interest will change to that. So it means that the government, even if the interest rate can go up to 15%, still the government can borrow the watch and borrow the money. That's enough for today. We are going to do exercise one on amortization. Uh, exercise one, exercise two. How many exercises do you have on amortization? Do you have the money or you don't have the money? Hello? Coordinator, are you still there? Yes. Yes, sir. 
You do you have the money or you don't have the money? I have. You have the money, eh? Yes. How many exercises do we have on uh, amortization? Are they two or three? They are two. So do those exercises and send your work by close of business on what? On Monday mm -hmm. on Tuesday. Okay, on Tuesday. Do we have an election on Monday? Is when it's done Friday, not so? So do the exercises on amortization, send on mail by close of business on Tuesday. When we meet, when we have a class uh, next week, we shall uh, either on Wednesday or any other day, we shall handle either cash flow or capital budgets. So that means you are finished payroll or you did the exercises. <laughs> we are finished amortizing. Yeah, this is computerized and this is big home. Yeah, it's year three and year four. So, we shall either handle amortization or cash flow next week. It shall last. So do those exercises on amortization, send your work by close of business on Tuesday. You have the mail. So this is a practical course unit. Actually, we are supposed to just show you what to do. Just guide you uh, on just minor, minor things. But we are what we do normally is to do the number together. So if you don't put in your effort, then it will be up to you. Because someone was telling me, should I do this? Should I do risk? I told him, if you want risk, go and do risk. But attend these lectures because you will need this information. If you don't get it in school, when you go out, you'll have to get 600 or 1 million per and get that knowledge. But if you can get it for free, please get it and do other questions you want. So it will be a concerted effort. Your effort, and the directional effort. So, any questions so far? Excuse me, sir. Mm. Is it possible for one to get points on PMT? The smaller places? Yes. yes. I have just reduced mine. Oh, okay. No yeah, I have just reduced my the smaller places. I had several. But I just clicked on this and then I reduce them. But I can increase them here or I can reduce them. So you can get the smaller presses on PMT. It is possible. All right. Mm. You can increase Some questions, them. Sir. Uh. So I don't know if it is possible to get the procedures on how to get each one of these I computations. Don't, unfortunately, I don't have the procedures. If you want the procedures, when you come to class, you write them down. Okay. Hmm. Computerized accounting is something practical. You don't have notes. Now, how, how do I write the notes? That you put this, the casa in the C4 and you write click. No, this is a practical question. If you are planning to dodge and get the notes, better run it to risk management. This one you must attend. If you want the notes, you write your notes. For the last 15, 20 years, I've told this question. I don't have notes. I don't have anywhere where I write. Just come to class. We do things practically. If we are putting the own amount in C4, we put it in C4. If we are putting this in this, we do that. So no notes. Even if you go to Muere, their question is there. Maybe I'm going to serve this solution. What I've been doing with you and then forward to you. Mm -hmm. Any other? Um, Mr. Zanz, I, have a, I have a question mm. um, for the interest rate. Mm. Is it possible that everyone's interest rate varies or it should be the same percentage? Interest amount, interest rate. The annual interest rate for Part C, when you compute with the total interest the value they've given you, does everyone's percentage vary or it's supposed to be the, the same? The percentage of the total interest. You have interest percentage rate. here, you have... The interest rate is 5%. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, after, after computing for part after, C. Part, part C, mine is 15. Yours is what? Should they vary? It's 41. Yours is 41. Negative, negative 41. Do you know why it is negative 41? 
when you clicked yeah. on this one and then you clicked on data uh, what if yeah. analysis go to seek eh? set this yes. cell now for you when you came to value you did not put the 94 0 94 404 300 in brackets you just typed it minus oh. brackets okay so i have answered you yes thank you so much you're yeah, welcome mm -hmm. another one So if there is no any other concern, please. Here mm. yeah, on on part C, mm. we 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 have seen when 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 that when the, the wound interest is, is not exceeding. Mm. But now if it is exceeding, do we still put the wound? Black at sea on, on, on. No, the reason the 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 logic behind the brackets is one. You have on the, the interest you have on the worksheet is indicative. So together. So, so you cannot have a positive interest. So you cannot compare a negative and a positive. That's why that lady got a minus. And it is not possible to have a what? So when you are given the interest, what interest should be charged? Or if this interest is desired, put the amount in the brackets. Because the interest you are trying to compare is also what? A negative. No, don't worry about not catching up what what. Now I have shown you what to do. It is a matter of sitting down on your own and with your friends, and then you do what? You practice at least now you have an I what an idea. You cannot get everything, you cannot get everything first time. No time. Okay. Sit down. Okay. That's why I give you those exercises. Because okay. you are the practice. Excuse me, sir. Mm. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Go, go ahead, please. I wanted to ask the question was saying not exceeding and so I wanted to ask if they said exceeding, what is the trick between the not exceeding and exceeding? Because not you exceeding. didn't put anything like a sign or anything. Not exceeding means yeah. that I may pay exactly that or less. Is that okay? So if they put exceeding in the question, not then you put greater than, then you put greater than and you type the amount. Thank you. Uh, remember, um, excuse me, sir. Mm. Um, I'd like some help with the start date again and how we are supposed to input that because I got um, different things for my mm. payment date and they are reshuffled. I have the month coming first and hey, the, the trick is here. Are you looking at my screen? Yes, sir. If I type, this is supposed to be first May, okay? If I take yes. one slash five slash twenty twenty, in the simple times yeah. I have st I have typed fifty May. If I'm to change this date, yeah. I have typed fifty what fifty May. So the trick is, if you are typing this date, start with one slash and type the the month in words like uh, April, okay? Yes. Twenty twenty. Then you will never go wrong with that. So you type the math in the words. Okay, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Members, that's enough for today. Please enjoy Excuse response, bro. Excuse yes. me, sir. I get come again. Hello. Please send us the recording. Yes, I'm going to send the Hello. recording. Okay, thank you. But to do those exercises. Do the exercises, please. Exercise one, two, three, and so on. Yes.